Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on Abel, the LMTV again. I picked up a 500 amp smart shunt and I have an idea. If you guys have followed this series and you know how I built out my electrical system for the truck, it's very easy to figure out what I'm trying to do here. So this actually can monitor two power sources. So my idea, and I'm hoping it'll work, I'm pretty sure it will, is we're going to monitor the 24 volt side of the batteries and the 12 volt side of the batteries. And this ties into the last video, the color controller um, with a VE direct cable. So I'll be running that cable again, which is my favorite part. But it comes with a very rudimentary um, instruction, I guess you could say. And so this is kind of what I'm looking at doing here. So you're basically interrupting, interrupting the negative terminal and you've got basically this is kind of a picture of your house battery and your starter batteries mine's kind of similar except for we've got the 12 volt and the 24 volt off of six batteries that are wired in series parallel uh, six deep cycle marine batteries so there's I don't know each one is 125 amp hours but they're marine deep cycle so you don't really get you know the quoted uh, amp hours out of them. However, they work perfect for what we're doing uh, We don't live in the truck. We use it for you know camping overlanding expeditions um, We love to storm watch. That's one of our favorite things to do uh, And this is the perfect season to do it So let's go in the truck and I'll show you what my plans are and then uh, I'll come back and show you how much my plans deviated from that Okay let me try to explain to you guys what I've got going on here. So, we have two 12 amp, I'm sorry, 100 amp breakers coming in on, uh, one is 20, 12 volt and one is 24 volt, okay? I have bridged this wire coming in to the 200 amp breaker over here which goes up to the multi plus inverter charger <laughs> I'm speaking slow because I forget the terms to use a lot of the time so what my plans are is you see how we've got a ground coming in here it's basically a ground terminal it's available for anything to use uh, that shunt is probably going to go over here and replace that terminal so one side will come in from the battery and then all the other grounds going to these items will be connected to the other side now i do have a bonding uh ground bar that i put in here um and that will obviously get eliminated at some point going into these little, um, I don't know what you want to call them, um, fuse panels. That's probably a good term for them. But so we're basically, we're going to just move a couple wires around. I think I'm going to take this out because we never use it for anything and it's just pointless to have it in here if it's not being utilized. And then we run a couple wires. One coming off the 12 volt side, one coming off the 24 volt side, and then the VE direct cable gets to take that fun path all the way over the bed and to the uh, GX controller over there. So, with that being said, we're going to get started on that and I'll uh, bring you back for the finished product or um, some of the problems I'm running into along the way. One of the two is going <laughs> to happen, so here we go. All right, guys, I got the 
VE direct cable ran over and getting ready to drop it down into the color controller. Went out to the mailbox and got this in the mail. So this is a Wi-Fi uh, module that you can put on the color controller and it will update itself as long as it has a access to a Wi-Fi signal. We have a uh, repeater right inside the house. I think it'll reach this. Maybe it won't, whatever. You can also use it to connect um, to your phone if you tether it through a Wi-Fi. Anyhow, um, this cable came with that wall mount box and it's designed so that you can run the USB portion outside the box for one of these Wi-Fi dongles. So that's gonna get installed as well. I will come back here in the next portion of this video and show you the finished product and uh, all the fun stuff that it does. All right guys, as you can see, I cleaned up this wall considerably. I removed um, the ground junction terminal. Uh, I set the smart shunt right here. We've got an auxiliary and battery plus hooked up to it. Uh, the ground from the batteries, so this ground is battery direct. And it comes in here and it hits the battery minus side of the shunt and then uh, to the system minus side is basically all the loads. So um, we've got a uh, like a two aught or a one aught ground running up to the uh, inverter. We've got a two aught running to the ground terminal joiner. And then I ran all the grounds directly off of that terminal. So um, the shelter is actually grounded to that terminal and the 12 volt has its ground path. And uh, everything seems to be working. I have the uh, inverter turned on. I've got the Eberspacher turned on, the hydronic heater heating the floor. You can see we've got some solar coming in. Um, and I went through, I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this. I went through the Victron Connect app and uh, this thing is really easy to set up. So you see we've got two of our devices on there. We've got our smart solar and our smart shunt. So if you go into the smart shunt here, there is a settings that you have to go into to get this thing set up. You basically have to tell it what your battery capacity is. And then um, you can set all of these where you want them to set like an alarm or um, there's all kinds of settings on here. I am not going to go in here and mess around with it. Um, one of the main things that you want to make sure you do is set up your auxiliary input or you won't see anything. So I have it set up as a uh, starter battery. So if you go back into the screen here, and this is just kind of the status of it. You can see what we have going on. And then if you go down to the bottom, you can see the 12 volt side of the series parallel circuit is showing the 12 volt charge. Uh, and this basically gives you an idea of how much battery capacity you have left. So um, you can set this up, like I said, to, to run however you want. And then alternatively, we ran that VE direct cable over to the um, Color GX. Let's go over there and take a look at that. <laughs> so I got that Wi-Fi module set up on there. Um, I don't have a Wi-Fi signal out here right now, but maybe it'll come in handy in the future. Uh, if you go in here to menu, there, there is so much stuff on this thing, it's just overwhelming. Um, you can go in here and set up all this. I mean, there's Just ridiculous. So now now it senses Wi-Fi So there you go. It's looking for a signal. It looks like it wants to grab like the sentry link signal Whatever um, we'll go back 
I mean, there's just way, way too much stuff on here to even... It's overkill for this setup that I have, but it is nice to be able to see this stuff when you want to. And then you've got a couple of different tiles that you can set up, which is kind of neat. So yeah, pretty simple installation. It took me a couple hours to get everything ran and reconfigured. Um, no problems like as soon as you connect power to it it turns on and you can see it on your phone and get it set up and everything but uh yeah pretty sweet setup inexpensive i mean for me it was inexpensive to you know upgrade this so i figured why not uh, i found some deals on amazon and whatnot i will try to leave links down in the description for these items although i can't guarantee you will get the same deal that i did you could probably uh, end up getting a good deal nonetheless if you keep your eyes open and you're patient but other than that i think that's probably going to be it for this episode guys if you like this episode give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed yet we'd love to have you as a subscriber if you found this video helpful or informative uh, please share it currently well probably after i start to edit this video i'm guessing i'll be at 10,000 subscribers by now which has taken me quite a while to get there. I don't promote my channel very much uh, as far as those things go. And uh, some of the content is not for everybody. I understand that. But nonetheless, I really appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button. Uh, if you're not getting notifications for my videos, make sure you hit that bell. That will uh, allow you to see you when i've uploaded a video to make sure that you can watch it on your own time but uh yeah really uh happy with the way this went and uh how the youtube channel is going it's uh going pretty good you're gonna want to stay tuned uh i've got some stuff coming up that has to do with the motorcycles and there may be some uh adventures with able episodes coming up as always it's always spontaneous when we take the truck out, so I never know what I never know what to expect. Willow is down visiting her uh, uncle in Arizona right now, so she's getting some sunshine, and uh, we are getting blasted with some stormy weather out here. So uh, I get to play out in the shelter all day or hang out in the house, and we're doing some home improvements indoors. Maybe I'll share that on the channel. Maybe not. I don't know. But other than that, uh, I hope you guys are staying safe taking care of each other. And as always, I will catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.